Well, welcome back. You know, when we hear about the tragedies like what happened in Uvalde yesterday, for many parents, your mind starts to wonder, could this happen at my child's school? And what can we do to prevent another tragedy? Should I also keep my kids home today? Right now, it seems like there are so many questions and not a lot of answers. Here with some insight on keeping our kids safe, we want to bring in public safety expert and, of course, mom, Rania Mancarios. Rania, welcome back to the show. It's always great to see you. Your day job, CEO of Crime Stoppers Houston. So you are our expert when it comes to crime. And listen, you and I are friends. I'm going to be very honest with everybody here. I feel like we have so many emotions going on right now, right? Yeah. I mean, there's the disbelief, the devastation, the sadness. And now I'm angry. Yeah. I am so angry. And this is so normal. I mean, what do we do with all this anger that we have? We've got to channel it into action. And what we say, look, we've been in the school safety space since 1997 in classrooms, uh, talking to kids. Uh, we notice that these things flare up. People talk about them and two weeks later, all the cameras and the lights and the conversations that were there, they've moved on, unfortunately, to the next tragedy. And, and as they should, but at the same time, we want families, we want parents specifically to channel these feelings into action. We want you to go to your local school, look at the plan. We want you to have conversations with your district on what they do in the event of an active shooter. We want you to have conversations with your kids, as scary and as awkward as that might be, and have a plan. Have a plan and be be comfortable with the information that's presented to you at this point and be willing to change what you're not happy with. I, I, th these are such great action plans and I do feel like when it comes to Crime Stoppers and that conversation, the, the Safe Schools program, mm -hmm. you do break it down. You break it down for the students, the teachers and the community and that's really important and anybody can request to hear about that. Absolutely. Everything we do is free. Our Safe School Institute offers free programming, obviously, for the schools. Again, boots on the crown, ground, kindergarten to 12th grade, talking about all these very difficult issues in an age-appropriate manner. But then we bring the conversations to teachers, to administration, to school-based law enforcement, and then to the parents. Look, it is scary. We don't want to think about this, but we have to wrap our minds around the reality the growing reality that this is happening and can happen where we live and where we send our kids to school. So are you okay today with the information you have? Are you okay today with what you know of the school plan? And if you think, God, I don't even know what the information is and I don't even know what the school plan is, then today you have some homework to do. And we all have that homework to do. Absolutely. I mean, our kids now are doing these drills, active shooter drills within our schools, um, like what I liken to uh, tornado drills yeah. when I was a kid, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, these are things that are happening. And as parents or caretakers in, in, in the community, we need to know yeah. what they're teaching our kids and how our kids are prepared. Yes. If we don't know, we're not doing our job. Right. And then what do you do? I mean, you think of this family in Uvalde and and I, it's just hit too close to home these are young these are babies you think of what they heard in the school the gun sounds the screaming the terror the feelings it's too much it's too much and then you think of parents desperate to get a hold of their children that's when you need to understand where are they taking our children where's the meeting point how do I know if my child's gone to a hospital or is in a classroom or is at the safe spot what is the safe spot the more information you'll never regret having knowing what that information is before a tragedy, you'll be 10 steps ahead. Um, and that's the hard part, is dealing with the chaos during the traumatic event. If we can mitigate that chaos, that's that's a step in the right direction. It certainly is. And, and I think if we're going to learn from anything in this conversation today, uh, Rania, is to really have that line of communication with our kids, with our teachers. And the call to action now is ask questions. Ask questions, be on, be on guard, and listen, we We've got to start looking at social media posts for our children and their friends. We know that this shooter posted two images or an image of his two weapons, uh, made a comment online. We've got to take all of these threats and comments seriously. A joke doesn't matter. It's still a terroristic threat. We've got to report them, know how to report them. We've got to be consistent and educating kids that if you make this type of threat, there will be serious consequences. And engage a community, a school community, where every person has a role in their safety. Right. Mancarios, it's always great to see you, and sadly, under these circumstances today, but we appreciate your perspective. Thank you. And we do have a link to connect with Rania and Crime Stoppers of Houston on our website. That's HoustonLife.tv.